Well, welcome to day 16 of our um, 100 day planner to go through the uh, way of holiness this week. And on Isaiah 35, 8, it says this, it says, and a highway shall be there and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be uh, for those who walk in the way. Isaiah 35, 8 really describes a highway called the way of holiness. And in the midst of the chapter, it's filled with promises of restoration, healing and joy. And this verse points to a specific path that God has prepared for his people to follow. And this path is one of purity and devotion, set apart for those who are dedicated to walking with God. The highway imagery conveys an elevated, um, direct and purposeful path, free from distractions and obstacles, specifically reserved for those who are cleansed and belong to God. So the term, the way of holiness, speaks to a life marked with purity, obedience and a close relationship with God. Holiness, as outlined in the Bible, is not just about moral perfection, but about being set apart for God's purposes. And this path requires a commitment to live according to God's standards and to walk in his presence. And being led by his spirit, it's a journey that reflects the dedication to align with God's heart, not just in external acts, but in thoughts, attitudes and inner transformation. So, the way of holiness underscores the importance of holiness in the life of a believer. Holiness is often misunderstood as rule keeping or religious strictness. But in scripture, it's about being fully devoted to God. To walk in holiness is to live a life that mirrors God's character, one of love, righteousness and integrity. Holiness reflects God's nature and allows us to experience his presence and guidance in our lives. And this path is not one that we can walk on our own strength. The Holy Spirit is the one who empowers us to live in holiness, guiding our thoughts, our actions and our decisions. Holiness is both a gift and a calling through Christ. We are made holy and through his Spirit, we are enabled to live out that holiness in a practical way. So the call to walk in the way of holiness is an invitation to a life of closeness with God, where his presence shapes our character and purpose. In koinia uh, or fellowship with other believers, walking in the way of holiness becomes a shared journey. And holiness is not just an isolated pursuit, but one that is strengthened and encouraged within the body of Christ. And in community, we find accountability, support and encouragement to pursue holiness. And we can encourage one another to remain faithful, sharing wisdom and providing prayerful support as we each seek to live in alignment with God's will. So walking in holiness within the context of Koinir also involves encouraging each other in moments of struggle. True Christian fellowship means that we walk alongside one another, helping each other overcome temptations, grow in faith and pursue God's calling. And this collective pursuit of holiness enriches our relationships and helps us to reflect God's character to the world. And is showing that we are his people set apart for his purpose. So are we walking on the way of holiness? Let's just take time to reflect on our daily walk with God and to consider areas where uh, we might need, to be re uh, need a renewed commitment to holiness. Are there attitudes, habits or behaviours that need to be surrendered to God? Walking in holiness isn't about striving for perfection but about surrendering to God's spirit and allowing him to guide you into the greater alignment with his heart. So consider also 
how you can encourage others in their journey of holiness. Being part of a community of faith provides opportunities to support and uplift one another. Reach out to someone in your community, offer words of encouragement or ask how you can pray for them as they pursue holiness. Together we grow in faith and walk in the way of holiness with purpose and integrity. So Lord, help us to walk in the way of holiness and guide us by your Spirit and let our lives reflect your holiness. Give us the strength to turn away from anything that distracts us from you and help us to encourage others in their journey of faith. And may our lives, both individually and together, reflect your love and purity to the world. Amen. Isaiah 35 8 calls us to walk in the way of holiness, a path set apart from those who are dedicated to following God. This journey is one of walking in God's presence, allowing his spirit to guide and transform us. And in Koinia, the pursuit of holiness is strengthened through mutual encouragement and support. So as we commit to this way of life, may we walk faithfully reflecting God's holiness and inviting others to join us on the path towards life, a life devoted to him.